we have Lara Dunkley here, uh, local Yarram girl, age 27 and the vice captain of the Queensland Firebirds. So thank you for coming out to our training today, Lara. No, thanks for having me. It's been amazing. It's fresh, but it's good. It's been good. How is the weather? Oh, it is cold. And I think coming from Brisbane, you feel it a lot more. Yes, um, but it's pretty crazy to think that, you know, I did play out in the, yeah, yep. in this weather um, as a young one. So yep. I just loved coming back and I think it's really special to be able yeah. to come back and do all these things with the young local girls. Yep. That's good. Um, so we just have a couple of questions for you. A few yes. people have um, written a few that they want some answers to as well. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. No, that's okay. Um, obviously you come from a family who have a love for competitive sport. Mm -hmm. um, how did you first get started on your netball journey? That's a good one. I actually get asked that a lot. Um, I think as soon as we were born, had a ball in our hands and well, there were many tears in the backyard growing up, I'm not going to lie, but you know, that's, you know, been a part of why we're here and yeah. who we are today. Um, but the, yeah, I played many sports as a young, young child and I think that's what also helped a lot um, with my netball. But yeah, I played several sports and netball was the last one I picked up yep. at 13 years old and um, it's actually a funny story. I. Um, my auntie Sue um, was a good netballer back in the day and she'd seen me play all the sports and uh, she said to me one day, Lara, I think you should try netball um, and just give it a go. And I said, look, of course, I'll add another one to the 12 sports that I was playing at the time. Um, so, yeah, I asked mum and dad actually and they said, no, no more sports, that's enough. So my auntie Sue um, picked me up from the bus stop uh, yeah. one day and she threw me a pair of her shoes and shorts and t-shirt and nice. she said, here you go, I'm going to take you down to the local courts. Yep. And literally from that day, never looked back, but went to the courts, wanted to play, coach wanted me to play, and I said, oh, oh mum and dad don't I'm actually playing. know. Um, but anyway, begged them for a few weeks and then got the win and yep. yeah, had to quit everything else, okay, but it's been worth it. Good job, Sue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who's the most competitive in the household when you are home? Probably mum. No, oh, really? <laughs> she gets so competitive that she gets really angry and like <laughs> aggressive. No, um, <laughs> we all do. We all do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like I probably reckon mum is. Oh, there you go. She's rough. Not what yes. I thought was the answer yeah. going to be. Um, who's your favourite cousin? Oh wow! <laughs> who's asking these questions? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many that I can't. Oh, I literally can't. Answer. I love them all and Very we're all pretty similar so yeah. yeah it's awesome. We're a tight family which is the best. It's nice to hear that. Um, what was the pathway like that led you to start your playing career with Vixens and now with the Queensland Firebirds? Yeah so the best thing about Victorian Netball is that there is a really structured pathway yep. um, but knowing that there is a structured pathway and I definitely looked at doing everything but didn't make teams along the way and it doesn't matter whether you slip off the pathway if you keep trying you can come back into it so um, I missed out on a team the state team that I really wanted that was like a goal of mine for a few years was to make the state team represent Victoria um, as I was playing state league in Melbourne and you know local netball and things like that and not making a team three years in a row and nearly gave it up yeah um, and that's where you get to a point where you're having you know challenging conversations and yep. trying to work out what's best but I think being country girl you know you just so determined and you yep. keep going so I gave it another go and I was just really fortunate that in that time I transitioned into the midcourt yep. which gave me a really good opportunity to trial again for state I made the top age state 19 team and then made a and L and represented Victoria in an open um, yep. age group and then had the opportunity to be a part of the Vixens yep. um, as a training partner and then one year got called in to replace an injured player um, and became a permanent replacement player and sat on the bench for the whole season and that's another thing that I could go into is that you know you can you could sit on the bench um, and you know not even care and kind of crack it and be like oh I'm not getting on the court yeah. or you can actually sit back and learn and I sat behind some incredible players still to date but Renee Ingalls, yeah. Kate Maloney, Liz Watson and they were the mid court that I sat behind and I was just super lucky that um, I had the opportunity to then go to Queensland um, and be a part of the Firebirds and it was almost something that I couldn't say no to yeah. um, and sometimes you take a risk um, 
but you can get the rewards. So to be vice captain and going into my fourth season is just an absolute honour. Yeah. But you never forget where you came from. And, yeah, exactly. You know, everything that you've gone through makes you the person and play you are today. Yeah. So yeah. Was it hard to leave family when you had to make Absolutely, the move? Absolutely, yeah. it was because everyone's in Victoria. Everyone's here in Bansdale. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was challenging because it was probably my first really big move away from family. I lived in Melbourne, but I lived with my brothers, yeah. so it was still home. Yeah. Um, so kind of, yeah, moving away and um, not knowing anyone is pretty yeah. scary. Daunting, yes. But the best thing is Queensland's a great lifestyle and, you know, you've got to kind of get out of your comfort zone and meet new people and, yeah. you know, now I've got, you know, best mates that I'll have for life in Queensland. Exactly. And yep. Yeah, I just, I Sacrifice love it there. well worth it. Yep. That's it. Um, who's your favourite teammate? Oh, that's hard. I don't know what it is. Nah, I, like I said, I've got some great mates. Um, I really buddied up with Gretel. She was a big influence in, you know, me finding my feet in Queensland and, um, yeah, just playing the netball that I am. So I love, I love Gret, but I do like Rav and, yeah. Um, uh, there's some great players. R Ruby, who's coming through the ranks, I get along with yeah. her really well. And Nelly, like there's some, yeah. Gabby was great. Yeah, I literally love them like sisters. It's a really good team to yeah, be involved Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, we're creating a really good culture at the yeah. club. And, um, yeah, I've got some good mates in there, though. Oh, so I'm really nice. lucky. That's yeah. Nice anyway, uh, on behalf of the Linden O Football Netball Club, we would really like to thank you for coming out and running the training session with the girls. They appreciated it. And um, oh. good luck with your vote count. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks for having me. It's just, like I said before, just an amazing opportunity to get back to the grassroots yeah. and really value and, you know, appreciate where you've come from. Yeah. And the people that you are involved with. So, yeah. No, nah, thanks nice. for having me and all the best back. for the rest of the season. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. <laughs>